Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to my sixth update for the 2024 Glastonbury Festival. So here we go again, time to bring you another Glastonbury update. We're up to update number six now, and we're getting towards the business and double Glasto update. So I know quite a few of you will be heading down to uh, Glasto on Monday and Tuesday. Um, as volunteers, and then gates open, ticket holders arrive on Wednesday, pitch up their tents, soak up the atmosphere. So, yes, getting ever closer to the 2024 Glastonbury Festival, and uh, I shall get on with it for you in a moment, just to say about the first video is there, as our 6 day UK weather forecast, we've also released weekend forecast, we've released the each day, a 42 day forecast, and a 10 to 14 day, please check out all day videos and content, thank you so much everybody for doing that. Right, okay, well, we're going to start off with the uh, situation on Monday, just 48 hours away um, now. And this is looking quite nice, actually. Nice ridge of high pressure from the west of Europe, uh, from the Atlantic into the north of the west of Europe, I should say. A rare temperature is looking uh, warm with that area of high pressure as well. Under high pressure, it's a uh, completely dry day, bags of sunshine will be coming through as well. And very pleasantly warm temperatures into below 20 Celsius. Not too bad at all for the first of the volunteers to be arriving. Then we go through to Tuesday, 25th of June. Again, nice ridge of high pressure dominating weather. Our bread temperatures continue to look warm or very warm. Another mostly dry day. Some showers up in the northwest. Won't have to worry about that. Uh, glass show back to sunshine coming through again. And again, we'll be, uh, we'll be seeing the temperatures going up into the mid to possibly even upper 20 Celsius, suggesting about 26 or 27 there. That's going close to 80 Fahrenheit in old money. Uh, right, so this is the day that gates are opening. People will be arriving with their tickets and uh, they'll be pitching up their tents, probably soaking up the atmosphere as well. Uh, plenty of high pressure away to the north of the country. Trough of low pressure trying to push up from the south. The upper air temperatures continue to look very warm, quite hot over on the other side of the continent. Just a suggestion maybe of a, of a heavy shower or a thunderstorm getting going down towards the south and the southwest of the country. Possibly uh, the outside chance of a downpour of thunderstorm affecting glass stove there. Um, temperature still very warm though, up uh, up at least into the uh, low 20 Celsius, if not the mid 20 Celsius, uh, with the temperature possible on Wednesday. Depends on how many showers form, of course. Uh, then we've got sort of a, a shallow trough developing over the country through to Thursday, where more people will be arriving down at Glastonbury, where those temperatures again are looking. Uh, pretty warm with the upper air temperatures. There is a band of rain that's pushing north, but that might be a persistent band of rain or it might be an area of thunderstorm. So I would expect we see some sort of wet weather trending north from Wednesday into Thursday. Might give a little bit of a soaking for glass show. And the temperature again is a little bit low, but still pleasant. The sun comes out, we'll be into the low 20s. Obviously, if it does turn wet, then uh, the temperature will be uh, a little bit suppressed. That band of rain might be a band of just persistent rain pushing upwards. It could be a band of thunderstorms. It's a bit too um, early to be able to say with that. Right, so the main event for day one is uh, Friday 28th of June. This is when um, things will start kicking off in terms of the main part of the event anyway. Very slack gradient sitting across the country then. Upper air temperatures though, they're still looking uh, pretty warm once again. Suggestion of further showers, not overly wet, but a few showers scattered about here for uh, Friday. One or two heavy ones are possible. And temperatures again into the uh, into the low 20s. So 21, 22, 23 is possible. Again, will depend on showers and how much rain there is. Saturday, day two of the main part of the bank will take low pressure away in towards Germany and the low countries. We bring the wind in from the northwesterly direction. Upper air temperature starting to lower a little bit. The warmth, the upper air temperature begin to get shunted away to the east. Further showers, possibly rumble of thunder possible across more southern east there, starting to dry up from the north and the west. Temperature begin to lower a little bit as well, but still into below 20 Celsius. And then finally, well, not quite finally, we get to the final day, though, of the Glastonbury Festival, which is Sunday the 30th of June. And uh, then we're into, like, northwesterly flavour, restarted building from the Atlantic. Other air temperatures have cooled down. It's mainly dry. Don't worry about that green area, although there is some heavy rain 
in the North Sea. And temperatures have lowered into the upper teens, so around 17, 18, possibly 19 degrees. So a bit of a cooling trend as we get towards the end of the Glastonbury Festival. And then finally, that gets us through to Monday, the 1st of July, when I know a lot of you want to forecast which you're packing up to go home. And we find a little bit of a transient ridge building up from the southwest, then ahead of the next area of low. Up rare temperatures, quite pleasant. It's mostly dry. There'll be plenty of sunshine coming through with that. And the temperature, it's around 20 or 21. That's very pleasant indeed. So, not a bad update for the uh, sit update. It's nothing like we had for the first ball. So, the first ball were all high pressure, high pressure, high pressure. Those were dry, fine, very warm conditions, hot conditions even. Um, the change came on the fifth update. We have that very unsettled update. This isn't quite as unsettled as that. But, nevertheless, there's a stretch of showers here uh, coming and going. So, I would be... Taking everything with you, really. Take your sun cream, take your sun hat. It'll be a very warm, dry beginning. And then gradually it turns more showery. Probably not overly well. Although we've got to watch out and see where we get some thunderstorms going. Uh, particularly Wednesday to Thursday. If we do that, then, um, you know, there could be uh, quite a lot of rain in a short time time frame so that's something to watch and after that it just turns generally rather um rather mixed so it's going to be a mixed glass and breeze but there will be plenty of fine useful weather at times as well in between the showers and whatnot so i would prepare for all of that uh, and prepare for all eventualities um if you enjoy this glass and free update and the season glass and free update it's not quite finished yet but if you enjoy the season of glass and updates then uh this is gaswell's paypal page so you can come here sign into your paypal account and give a donation to gaswell if you would like to do that to help me to fund the channel and be able to bring this content to everybody you'll get a shout out in the next glass and free update and that's going to be tomorrow actually we're going to do back to back glass the updates this weekend so the seventh glass show update will be coming up for you tomorrow evening again if you enjoyed this glass of forecast please like share and subscribe thanks show everyone for doing that we'll be back with more very soon but for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching